Hey guys, this is Josh with the Depth Tape Channel, and in this video, we're going to be talking about four quick tips that you can do that can help reduce the chances that your engine is going to overheat. And this is particularly the case if you're pulling a hill in the summer because that's the hardest time for your engine's cooling system. Now, overheating your engine is pretty much one of the easiest ways to completely destroy it or cause thousands of dollars of damage to the engine itself. So, we really need to be careful, keep that cooling system out of the red. Now, I live in one of the hottest cities in the country and it's surrounded by lots of hills and mountains. So I have dealt with this a lot over my career as a mechanic. So I wanted to give you some quick tips to help keep you out of the shop, okay? Let's get into tip number one. Now, tip number one is a very easy tip to do. Anyone can do it, but most people do not. And that is to slow down. If you're pulling a long grade and it's 105 degrees outside and you're going 70 miles an hour, just because your engine can produce enough power to take you to 70 miles per hour doesn't mean your cooling system can keep up. And the reason your engine's overheating is because the engine is putting more heat energy into the cooling system than the cooling system can release. So the easiest way to reduce that is to reduce the amount of heat that the engine is producing. And the easiest way to do that is to slow your vehicle speed down. If you're going 70, try going to 65, 60. If it's still climbing, your temperature is still climbing, get in one of the slower lanes, maybe in one of the truck lanes, get down to 55 or 50 miles per hour. This alone will significantly reduce the load on your engine, which will help keep your cooling system able to keep up and release enough heat. Okay, that's a quick tip. That alone will prevent a lot of engines that are gonna overheat from overheating, okay? Now, let's get the tip number two, and that is to select the appropriate RPM for your engine. Now, engines vary. I deal with a lot of diesel engines, and their power band, which is when they're most efficient at making power, is basically about 1,200 to 1,800 RPM. Now, on most automotive applications, the power band's much higher. It can be anywhere from 2,500 to 4,000 RPM. What you don't want to do is the extremes. You do not want to lug your engine, which is running it at very low RPMs. This is not good for a couple reasons. First reason is the engine is very inefficient at making horsepower at this range. So you're actually going to have your foot deeper into the fuel, but you're not going to be making as much power. Your engine's not efficient. Not only that, your engine runs your water pump. Your water pump is what circulates coolant throughout the engine and the radiator. So if you're running at too low RPMs, your cooling system's not gonna be running very efficiently. And depending on your engine, you may have an engine-driven cooling fan. If you have an engine-driven cooling fan, like on most rear-wheel drive vehicles, the higher your RPM, the faster the fan's gonna spin, which is gonna help cool the engine down. Now that does not mean, though, you wanna run it towards the red line on the RPMs either. Running it at additionally high RPMs increases the load of the engine. So my general advice is to run it somewhere in the middle of the RPM range. If you're in a diesel truck, like I said, if it's 1200 to 1800 RPM range, you probably run it around the 16, 1700 RPM range. The engine can make good power and it'll spin the fan quicker and the, the water pump quicker. If you're in a car, you might be in the 2500 RPM range, but vary that and see if you can find a sweet spot, okay? Tip number three is gonna make you feel a little more uncomfortable because unlike the first two tips, this one's gonna make you sweat a little bit. That's because if your engine is still climbing in temperature, you want to turn off your air conditioner because the AC compressor, which is pumps refrigerant throughout the AC system, pulls horsepower out of the engine, which increases your engine load. So shut that off. Also, you can turn your heater on in the vehicle. And the reason you want to do that is because the engine, when the heater is turned on, pumps coolant to what they call a heater core, which is basically a small radiator in your dash. And what that does is it will actually pull some heat out of your cooling system and dump it, unfortunately, into your cab. Now, this, may, this will make less of a difference than slowing down will, but if you're getting close to overheating, it might make just enough difference that you won't have to pull over, which gets me to... The fourth and final tip, which is if all those tips aren't going to work, you know your vehicle is overheating prone no matter what you do, you might want to plan your trip or if you know there's a big hill accordingly. Obviously, the late afternoon is the hottest time of the day generally. 
maybe you can push that hill climb off to the early morning hours maybe stay the night or something or wait till after the afternoon if you're comfortable driving in the evening because that alone will drop the ambient air temperature which will make your vehicle less prone to overheating now if all these tips don't work and your vehicle is getting into the red don't just keep climbing the hill overheating as i already mentioned can cause severe damage to your engine and your cooling system and you don't want to do that it's going to cost a lot of money to repair it if it is getting in the red if there's a safe place pull over immediately don't shut your vehicle off you want to keep the engine running put the rpms up to about 1500 rpm you can open your hood um, do not open the cooling system though do not ever remove a radiator cap when it's hot that could lead to severe burns on yourself or damage to your vehicle just let if you pull over and let the car idle at a high rpm it'll typically cool itself down that's the better way do not just shut it off when it's a high temperature that can damage it even worse hopefully those tips gave you some good advice and kept you off the side of the road thanks for watching